Buzzheads, welcome to another episode of That Buzz Guy. Curtis Tucker here, and we are continuing on with uh, all the episodes to get you guys the freedom to work at home and get to do what you want. And so I know a lot of stuff's going on. Yeah, we're up to like 22 million uh, people have filed for unemployment due to this coronavirus. So I know there's a lot of people out there looking for work, looking for side gigs. And so hopefully we can get through some of this and uh, get you guys to working. I know it's going to take a little while for you guys to start earning some money, but let's get going. So uh, today's episode is kind of a continuation of what I've been talking about. Um, I've told you guys some different ways I've made money, and then I've told you uh, you know, some ideas uh, that you guys can make money. And I know getting started is the hardest part, but uh, you know I've got different philosophies. One of those philosophies is get started now no matter what. So we're going to talk about uh, tonight, or this episode, is all about 100 different ideas to get you guys started with a business online or a side gig. And so um, these are kind of unique, crazy, wacky, different uh, 100 ideas. But what I want you guys to do is to be able to just take any one of these and get started. Because once you get started, then as you're blogging or you're podcasting or you're doing videos... Um, no matter if this is what you're going to continue on with or what you're going to make money with, at least you're learning podcasting and blogging and the techniques and what looks good, what sounds good, and uh, then you can continue on. And then let's say you get two months down the road and you completely pivot to something else, that's fine because you haven't lost all of that uh, learning that you've done. So get started. These are going to be 100 ideas now. There's a lot of blog posts and podcasts out there that tell you different uh, things to start online, but they're all like start a podcast, start a blog, start a video channel. Well, that's not very specific. So I know a lot of you uh, now, if you have a passion or you have something that you love or you know uh, something that you like to talk about, and that was the last episode was trying to figure out what your business or your online venture, your side gig is going to be about, trying to pin that down with those 10 questions. Well, if you went through those 10 questions or you haven't listened to that episode yet, Check out these 100 ideas, and maybe one of these will spark an idea. So these these are going to be really specific, but not necessarily are these the idea, but hopefully these will get your creative juices flowing. And out of one of these ideas, you'll think of your own idea on maybe what you want to start. And again, it doesn't matter what you start. Just as long as you get started, you stay consistent, you learn, you're patient, you're going to be able to pivot to something different. You can even pivot all the way from podcasting to blogging. So don't worry about anything. Just get started and then we'll take it from there. I just want you guys to get started. So uh, we're going to go over these different ideas and I'm going to try to go through all 100 of them. And again, um, what I want to do is give you guys some quick ideas. And let's say that I throw you out an idea on uh, cooking. Uh, You're going to do a blog about cooking the best Mexican food. Well, Take that idea and morph that into maybe you're going to do a podcast on um, how to bake desserts instead, but at least it's still related to cooking. Or you're going to do a video channel on creating original soups and you're going to be the soup expert or uh, maybe cooking only meals using the pressure cooker or you're going to teach people how to cook out on the grill. So, So basically, you know, take any one of these ideas, you're going to be able to twist it and put your own spin on it. And hopefully from every one idea I give you, you're going to get two or three of your own. So we're talking, you know, two, three, 400 ideas right here to get you guys started. And that's the whole point of this episode is pick one of these, get going. Uh, Two weeks from now, we'll be talking and, and then we can go from there. Don't forget, everybody has to have a website no matter what you're doing. If you're a musician, if you're going to do a podcast, if you're going to do a video channel on YouTube, if you've got a really cool thing going on TikTok or Instagram, I still want you guys to have a website to fall back on and to send traffic to and to get all of the, you know, people searching for things on Google, you know, they're probably not going to find you on TikTok if they're searching on Google. So everybody needs a website. That's uh, one of my rules. One of these days I will write, one of these episodes will be about all of the different rules that I have. But, uh, you know, one of the rules is get started, stay consistent, 
got to have a website, be patient. Uh, so anyway, so let's get started. I know it's going to be tough getting through all these. I don't want to drag this out too long, um, but uh, we're just going to get going. So here we go. 100 actual side gig business ideas to start online. And again, these can be, these could turn into full-time businesses, or these could be little side gigs, whether you're going to make 50,000 a year with them or 5,000. These are just ideas. And what I'd also love you guys to do is maybe take make two or three of these ideas and, and mix them or combine them and come up with your own idea. If you guys come up with your own really cool ideas, your own uh, businesses, let me know. Let me know if any of these sparked an idea. So um, pretty obvious one, uh, one to start is fashion trends. If you really like uh, fashion, if you're a girl, if you're a young girl and you like to get on Instagram and you really like the fashion trends, start you a uh, fashion trend Instagram account and let people know, you know, what things, what scarves go with what tops, what dresses go with what sandals, you know, things like that. Just uh, talk about um, the latest trends, talk about the latest materials, the styles, the colors, uh, things like that. So a fashion um, brand, fashion, blog, podcast, those uh, are pretty popular. But again, it doesn't matter if there's already 10 or 100 blogs in your niche. Just go ahead and get started because people might like you better. You might have better ideas. You might have more unique ideas. You might have a different perspective. You might have a better voice. Uh, go ahead and get started and uh, get going on that. How about a dumbbell workout? So uh, teach people how to work out at home using nothing but dumbbells. You don't have to have the heavy barbells. You don't have to pay to go to a gym. Uh, this is not yoga, but these are going to be exercises, especially older people. Um, you know, they say that you know, the more muscle that you can keep and that you can build, the longer that you're going to live and, and the better that you feel. So keep everybody active. Teach them different exercises they can do with nothing but dumbbells. You know, maybe maybe between fives and 25s or, or whatever you think, but show them just all the different exercises. Uh, if you're also teaching them how to do dumbbell exercises, teach them about diet, teach them about how to uh, stay healthy by eating um, and maybe throw some aerobic in there and things like that. But uh, dumbbell workouts. How about a reality show junkie? If you really like reality shows like I do, I love Survivor and Big Brother and pretty much all of them, um, you know, start Start a uh, podcast where you talk about nothing but reality shows, and maybe you pick one specifically. You are going to find you get a really good following. Um, those type of shows create a lot of discussion, and so um, you can get a lot of stuff going there. You could sell merchandise. You could even try to think about uh, maybe you go through the experience of trying to get on one of those shows, and and you let everybody know the rejections. And if you ever do get on one, maybe you go through the process, but you don't even make the show show that process, things like that, behind the scenes, um, do some interviews with contestants that have been on reality shows that have left and it's been, you know, five, 10 years, let everybody know what they're up to. Um, starting a reality show, blog, vodcast, uh, vodcast or something like that uh, can be really big. Vintage photos. Here's a, a kind of a unique idea. When you go to estate sales and garage sales, you see a lot of old, uh, unique looking photos, you know, they're family photos from the 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s. And, uh, you know, a lot of times nobody's written on them. And so the families don't know, you know, what they are, who they are, what they have to do with. So start buying them. You can get them really cheap. You can get like a whole shoe box, you know, for like five bucks sometimes. So start collecting those and, uh, and then start posting those on a blog and, uh, as you show, you know, you're going to be able to find some really unique poses or family members or looks. Post those on your blog and write a story. Make the story completely up. You know, let's say there's some kid in a Halloween costume. Uh, you know, he's dressed up like a devil or something. I don't know, you know, anything. But, you know, make up some humorous or funny stories with those vintage photos. You could even turn those into, I think I've seen people turn those into greeting cards. Um, so, uh, you know, just kind of do something with vintage photos. How about being a hiking expert? If you like getting outdoors and you like to hike, uh, become a hiking expert. Tell people, you know, how to hike, what equipment to take with them, what kind of shoes to wear, tell them the best places to go. 
um, you know, safety concerns. If uh, teach them if something happens and they are to get stuck, how they get out of that. Um, how to keep their devices working, they don't run out of batteries, just all kinds of different things. There's all kinds of stuff you can do uh, being a hiking expert. And then if you are a hiking expert, go on some hikes, uh, take some video, shoot lots of photos, and share those with everybody on your blog. And so, and don't forget, even if you have a podcast and you're talking about all this stuff, almost all podcasts like this one will send you back to the blog where they'll say, hey, go to our blog or corresponding page to this podcast and you can see the photos or whatever that maybe they're talking about. So um, don't forget that this podcast has a video vodcast that goes with it on Curtis Tucker TV YouTube. And then if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, don't forget that if sometimes you can't sit there and watch because you're driving, that uh, you can either listen just to the audio or you can go snag the podcast on all of your favorite podcasting apps. Um, now here's one that I would like to do sometime, but movie scores. And so a movie score is basically that background music that you hear repeatedly throughout a movie. And then usually at the end of the movie when the credits are rolling. And if you really pay attention, there's some movies that have some really great movie scores. And so talk to people about movie scores, talk about, uh, the different, uh, you know, guys that create those, um, which movies have the best, which movies have the worst, um, create playlists that people can listen to. I've got some playlists. If you listen to any of my playlists, they contain lots and lots of movie scores. And so that's an idea. Um, got my ball cap on. This is just a, a polo ball cap, but how about starting a, uh, blog about used ball caps? So collect old Yankees ball caps and, um, ball caps from different baseball parks, maybe collegiate ball caps. And, and, um, when you get them, you know, tell the story behind them, tell who had it, what the story was, what, maybe what game or what series it was worn in, and then trade those and sell them and buy them and, and kind of create a whole whole uh, whole industry around used ball caps and and maybe you uh, end up being the guy with the largest baseball um, used baseball cap collection uh, that could be uh, a lot of people you know might contact you to write stories about that so uh, look for all the different angles try to be the most unique the largest the smallest uh, the best the loudest things like that. How about being a jingle writer? You know, if you can come up with funny little jingles or you've got a little bit of musical ability, uh, write jingles, taglines, slogans for companies, and you can start a little business online, a little uh, podcast, help people brand themselves with uh, logos and jingles. And, uh, you know, by adding that music to the background, you can uh, write jingles for commercials and you can teach people how to write jingles or how to write their own jingles or things like that. So become a jingle writer. Uh, stain removal, you know, you could you could spend episode after episode after episode, just pick, you know, blueberries. How do you get blueberries? You know, and, it, and it, so also when you're doing podcasts or blogs, you know, you know, um, if you're doing a podcast, you might be doing a 10 minute podcast where all your, you, maybe you're doing two or three episodes a week, but all of them are only 10 or 15 minutes. Well, that might be something where you, each episode is how to remove a different kind of stain out of something. So, um, teach people how to use natural and organic, uh, cleaners or just regular cleaners, but, uh, have a complete library on your blog of different ways of getting stains out Saturday morning cartoon. If you're a fan of Saturday morning cartoons, I know people love to talk about Fat Albert and Scooby-Doo and Bugs Bunny and Underdog and all those old cartoons. Start a podcast about the old cartoons and you will never run out of subjects. You'll never, uh, you know, interview people that maybe uh, also like the cartoons or if you can find track down people that were voices for the cartoons or artists on the cartoons. Um, you can, uh, you know, create quite a following on that. And then you sell merchandise, you know, sell t-shirt, you link to affiliate links that have t-shirts and merchandise for all of those cartoons. So, uh, Saturday morning cartoons would be a great idea. How about being a reunion organizer? You know, every high school out there is going to have a high school reunion. 
um, families have family reunions, things like that. Teach people how to organize a reunion and how to get people there. That's one of the, the biggest thing. There's got to be techniques and tips and ideas that you can help people um, get people to come to those reunions. How about being a dental consultant? And uh, this isn't teaching dentists how to be a dentist. This is teaching how uh, dental offices how to market and organize their offices better. You can teach them techniques and marketing, advertising, and using social media. So being a dental, basically a dental marketing consultant is probably what I should say on that one. Um, cheap meals, you know, especially right now, uh, there's a lot of folks Folks out there that uh, don't have jobs, uh, some people are unemployed and are not getting their un unemployment checks yet, and so uh, a lot of people, the food lines are really getting long right now. So if you could teach people how to make great cheap meals, um, that would be a great blog or podcast or video channel, and uh, just uh, you know teach them things to buy and how to you know make a pound of meat go a really really long way. Um, different things like that, different techniques and ways of making cheap meals. How about wine bars? If you uh, love wine, you can uh, create lists of wine bars in all of the big cities, even small towns, um, tourist towns. Let everybody know where the best little wine bars are. If you like to travel, go to those wine bars and do a little review. Do some videos, do some lives, tell people that you're at the wine bar. And uh, you can also do a little bit um, of promoting of wine brands and reviews and things like that. Um, 80s music is huge. We're, we're at the point now where a lot of people are nostalgic for the 80s. So doing a podcast about 80s music, the thing about doing that and vodcast is um, a lot of stuff won't get published because you're using um, the songs. So be careful. Uh, if you're trying to do a video and you're using a song, you're talking about 80 songs in your video, um, sometimes YouTube won't let you publish that. So um, anyway, interview 80s artists, um, do create lists, um, things like that. I mean, that can go forever as well. So 80s music. How about coming of age movies? One of my favorite um Talk about all of the different uh, movies that are kind of coming of age. Stand by me now and then. Um, I've done a blog post on that before, but you know, create an entire um, blog or business on those type of movies and uh, TV shows. You can interview the actors, the actresses from those movies. Uh, something big that's up and coming: agritourism. So uh, help people find what's going on with agritourism, and basically that's like going to a farm. And rather than going to a, an amusement park, you go to a farm and there's hands-on um, petting zoos and how to grow things, working in the garden, um, just you know doing more down-to-earth things and. Um, you know, getting closer to uh, things with agriculture. So those are sprouting up all over the country, and a lot of people don't know where to find those. So um, create maps, let people know those where those places are located, and, you know, that's a form of advertising. Once you get that going and you get a big enough audience, uh, those destinations are probably going to contact you and want to be, want to advertise on your blog. Um, paint, become a painter. If you can figure out a really cool way of doing paintings, um, you know, do some really wacky or cool paintings, put those on your blog and try to sell those. And if you start selling them online, you could go to art shows and sell them at art shows. Um, getting a license. Uh, teach people how to get a license. Go through, you know, 10, 20, 30 different uh, things that need licenses and you just show people the different techniques and ways to get their licenses or maybe just uh, the set of instructions on how to do that. So um, if you're needing to get a license yourself, document yourself getting that license and that could be an episode in itself. How about single parenting? That uh, about half of the nation seems to be divorced these days, and so a lot of people are raising kids on their own. Uh, teach single parents how to save money, how to take care of their kids if they've got to run errands, how to get uh, babysitting cheap or uh, have friends or family help them. Uh, lots of different things with single parenting. Uh, interview single parents and have discussions, have maybe a Facebook group, things like that. So a lot of stuff you can do around uh, single parenting. How about model trains? Uh, become the expert in model trains. 
talk about uh, the different gauges of trains, uh, different layouts, how to um, collect, buy, sell, um, things like that. Go to train model train conventions, model train shows. Uh, tell people where those conventions and shows are. Hold your own convention in your own town, things like that. So you can create all of that around model trains. Family games. Uh, teach people how to uh, play, you know, homemade family games or just pull out the different, uh, you know, there's marble games and card games and things like that. But um, just uh, puzzles, things like that. Just teach people how to uh, be around family more and what games they can play. And uh, some people, you know, have people call in or write in and uh, give some of their favorite uh, family games that maybe people have never heard of background noises you know when people are doing podcasts or things like that they always did you hear that train there's a background noise right there so um you know create or record background like i could run over to the run over the train track right there and i could record boy it's getting loud i could record that train noise and then i you can sell those noises those clips online so if somebody is uh, doing a like I said a podcast or or something where they need audio you know how where do they where are they can get a sound of a train well they can come to your website and they can buy a clip of the sound of a train so a lot of people will use those for films and videos and uh, podcast concert tickets think about this think about how many concerts you've gone to most people save their concert tickets so think about uh, if you've got concert tickets from the 60s or 70s you know take those and frame them and start uh, selling them tell the story behind it have people send you their tickets uh, you know maybe pay a couple bucks for them but uh, trade sell and buy concert tickets there's always some cool story you know somebody's first concert to uh, my first concert was journey in the 1980s and so um, you know that'd be cool to you know display that ticket so um, concert use concert tickets uh, you can frame those and then people can buy those and give as gifts so if you've got somebody that loves the Rolling Stones maybe they've never been but give them a framed concert ticket uh, with a little story behind it so concert tickets office decorating a lot of people have really really boring offices um, give examples of how to really dress up an office with different displays different painting techniques on their walls different desks that they can use different arrangements for their office so uh, office decorating uh, you can link to affiliates that sell office furniture that's a really good way of making extra money um, find a cause, you know, make up your own cause and help promote that cause. Maybe it's just a local hometown cause, but um, create bracelets or merchandise around it and then try to take it national. And if you can really get it going, create, uh, have it uh, have its own nonprofit organization. So find a cause. Um, you can create presets and filters for um, Lightroom and maybe actions and overlays for Photoshop. So if you're kind of creative and you take photographs and things like that and you, you do these presets um, and then you save those, well, maybe somebody else would be interested in those. Maybe people don't know how to do that. And instead of taking the time to create their own, they can buy yours and so uh, teach photographers how to set those up or how to use the ones that you're selling to them uh, organic create things out of organic materials and sell those but also teach people how to um, use their own organic materials um, talk about everything organic uh, foods uh, things like that become the organic god and uh, you could have quite a following um, be a goonie you know uh, you know, pick a movie like The Goonies and uh, talk about facts, little known facts and and stories behind The Goonies. Uh, interview maybe some of the actors or people that were in on the movie and uh, you can build a huge Goonie tribe around The Goonies or, or some other movie. Uh, podcast reviews. I know if you check uh, a lot of the uh, major podcasting apps, you're going to see the same podcast over and over and over and over and over again in the list. It's hard for podcasts to break through. Well, if you would do podcast reviews, you could, um, you know, 
lead people to discover new podcasts that they probably never would have because some of those podcasts are never going to get found. So um, review podcasts, you know, do it by category or whatever, and uh, you're going to have to spend a lot of time listening to podcasts to uh, be able to do that. Or, you know, um, just say, hey, here's the newest podcast in this genre and let people know. Um, history. If you like history, do some research and uh, find out the history on everyday items. You know, uh, maybe do a podcast episode on the can opener. How was it invented? Where did it come from? Why was there a need for that? Uh, things like that. So um, pick a niche and uh, go deep, dive deep into the history of whatever your niche is. Uh, sports techniques, rather than just talking about sports techniques, um, teach young people how to shoot baskets, the best techniques to shoot baskets, to dribble, how to hit a baseball, how to throw a football, um, interview and create videos with experts or people that actually know how to do that. Um, all kinds of sports that you can teach the techniques to. Uh, we're only up to number 33. I'm trying to cruise through these. Um, space saving techniques. Everybody's going to need more space in their homes and their garages. Uh, if you knew how many people need to buy storage units, you would know this is uh, highly needed. So teach people how to uh, throw things out and how to save space with uh, different techniques. Resume samples, um, you know, rather than just telling people, you know, how to write a resume, go ahead and find, you know, 500 of the best resumes in different uh, jobs and post those and show um, let people search for those and then all that they can go to like a resume for um, becoming a dental hygienist and uh, then at least there's a sample right there all they have to do is look at that sample and it helps them write their resume and you can put different you know Google AdSense or different ads on those How about flowers be the flower expert teach people how to plant and grow flowers you know what times of year are the best times to do that and then um, once they grow the flowers, teach them how to combine different flowers into floral arrangements and uh, give those floral arrangements away. And that could eventually lead to your own flower shop. So a lot of these, like I said, these are different ideas just to get you started. And hopefully they can help you pivot to bigger things down the road. Pet care. Uh, give tips and examples on how to care for different kinds of pets and you can include um, diet ideas, exercise ideas, and grooming tips. Uh, share lots of photos on that. So pet care. How about the outside world? Think about this. Think about if you're in jail or if you're um, handicapped or if you are bedridden. You know, there's a, there's a, a just a whole lot of different uh, situations where somebody may not be able to get outside or they can only get outside on a limited basis. So um, through a podcast or a blog, show them the outside world, show them what's going on on the outside, the sunshine, the different neighborhoods, um, traffic, uh, things like that. I mean, you might be surprised at how many people are trapped inside and can't get out. Uh, but through a blog or a podcast or a video, you can show them the outside world. Uh, here's one that kind of relates to that happiness. Teach people how to be happy. Show them how to discover happiness every day. Inspire them, motivate them. This is That would be a great uh, way to use quotes, photos, videos, stories, um, songs. Don't forget stories, man. Every one of these, uh, telling great stories is going to help you have a great uh, blog or podcast. Names. People are infatuated with names. Come, uh, um, come up with lists of different names for things like pets or babies. Um, you know, list the trendiest names that people are using. Give history of old names and what were popular names in different years. What were the best or most popular female names in 1966? You know, that, that's going to prompt discussion. Um, interview people and talk to them about their names. Why, why were they named the things that they were named? Um, so you could do uh, hours and hours and hours on talking about names. Uh, Non-celebrities, you know, everybody wants to, uh, if you notice a lot of podcasts, especially in different genres, everybody interviews the same people. So if you're into uh, marketing or business, you're going to find 
10 podcasts that all interview the same people. And uh, then you also find out that podcasters also interview each other. But how about finding a non-celebrity, you know, interview the uh, like nurses, like right now with this coronavirus going on, get out there and interview nurses and just interview uh, or spotlight local heroes that don't usually get the spotlight or get interviewed. Uh, iPhone updates. There's all kinds of iPhone updates going on. Everybody's wondering, should I get this update? If I do, what does it mean? We'll um, start a podcast and let people know what the latest iPhone updates mean. What what are the new things that they're you know not you know going to know about? So there's uh, you know when they do come out with iPhone updates, there's usually some really cool features that most people just don't have the time to uh, figure out and so if you have a podcast you can tell them like hey here's a new set of emojis or or things like that but iphone updates uh, how to be germ free you know that's a good one to go uh, with what's going on around the world right now teach people how to avoid germs and keep their houses clean how to how to stay uh, germ free how about pins when you go to uh, different events like the olympics or things like that a lot of times you get the little pins that you stick on your lapel uh, a lot of people, that's a huge business. A lot of people collect and trade those. So start your own blog or podcast on trading pins. How about rookie players? Uh, a lot of high school players that are getting ready to go into college or college players that are getting ready to go into professional sports and, uh, you know, all kinds of sports, baseball, basketball, football, uh, lacrosse, you know, different things, soccer. Go ahead and uh, talk about the upcoming rookies for each of those. Interview them and uh, rate them. Uh, predict where they're going to go, what teams they're going to be on, how well they're going to do. How about holidays? And I don't mean like your top, you know, four or five holidays. Uh, if you look close enough out there, there's a holiday for every day of the year. Basically, every day of the year has its own set of four to five to ten different holidays like today I don't know what today is off the top of my head but it might be um, national tree trimming day you know so um, find out what those holidays are talk about those uh, every week and let people know or maybe daily maybe make a daily podcast and talk about um, the different national days going on and go more into depth uh, dancers if you are a dancer um, talk about dancing and dancing techniques or what I've always thought would be neat. There are so many young dancers out there and so many different competitions and organizations that nobody really knows um, easily who the top dancers are. But maybe combine, get with all of those different organizations and competitions and uh, post who the top dancers for each of those are. And then somehow compare those to each other, maybe through videos or techniques and uh, kind of find a way of uh, being able to rank the top young dancers in the country. I think that'd be a really cool thing. How about colors? Uh, people are always wondering, you know, what color do I use for my logo or my house or my website? Well, you could be the color expert. Talk about the different colors. Introduce people to new color combinations, complementary colors, things like that. Uh, post different color combinations. Financial. Talking to people about uh, advice for their finances is always big. Teach people how to avoid debt rather than how to get out of debt. Um, that's what I always talk about with weight. If you if you don't ever get overweight, you're not going to have to figure out how to get, you know, out of, you know, lose weight. So um, prevent people from having to get out of debt by teaching them not to get in debt. So that would be a financial podcast. Um, create a journal. Uh, I've read where um, personal journals are big in podcasting. So uh, journal about your daily moments, the things that you do daily. And if your life is exciting enough, people might listen. Or if it's really boring or mundane, go ahead and make it sound like it's not mundane. I mean, be really weird and say, you know, make make going to the grocery store super exciting somehow, like, like you're a superhero. You know, you got to get really creative with that. But uh, start journals. Uh, number 50, we're up to number 50. How about talking about Jeeps? Uh, there are a lot of people. I used to be a Jeep lover. I'm still a Jeep, Jeep lover. I do not drive a Jeep, but I might be interested in seeing photographs of really cool Jeeps, customized Jeeps, um, people that either want to drive them or have driven them or are driving them would be um, probably apt to follow you. Travel, travel blogs are huge. Uh, pick a niche and uh, you can uh, do really well with a travel uh, 
blog or podcast. Uh, find out of the way locations that most people may not know about. Find places that are cheap, places that are beautiful. And uh, if you go to those places, take a lot of pictures, go live. Um, and also um, do videos or reviews. So how about blogging and podcasting? Of course, you know, I talked about how that's usually what everybody talks about, but how about uh, creating a blog about podcasting or a podcast about blogging? And uh, give tips, interview people in the industry, teach people how to get started and how to uh, um, get things going, how to make money. Uh, also, uh, number 53 is traffic. Teach people how to get traffic to their podcast, their video channels, and their blogs. If you can't get traffic to your website or nobody knows it's there, you're not going to make any money. So, but be patient. Don't worry about, don't, don't worry about your numbers, but you do need numbers. So, um, learn how to create those numbers. Just don't, uh, get over infatuated with what those are candy everybody loves candy and i tell you the candy companies are coming out with new candy uh, basically every week so review candy sample do tastings um, talk about the latest like hershey candy bars just came out with i think three new flavors for the for a temporary you know there's always temporary jelly beans or uh, you just you would not believe the different uh, candies that are released so talk about the newest candy bars suckers things like that and again do um, candy tasting videos um, let people know how about humor humor is huge in podcasting uh, talk about uh the latest uh, comedians or post the funniest videos, funny podcast um, sayings and jokes and pranks and funny stories. Get people to call in and give their funniest stories. Traditions. Help people and parents start new traditions. You know, we've got your typical ones for Christmas and Thanksgiving and things like that. But uh, not only talk about those traditions, but also come up with different traditions that people can start with their kids um, you know, taking a, I think one of the new traditions is taking a photo of your child on the first day of school, holding up a sign, things like that. So talk about traditions, find out what uh, other families and individuals are doing for their traditions. Um, video, give tips on how to do better video. You know, like my video right here is my sound quality, not the best, probably not is my lighting probably not the best. Uh, looks a little yellow in here, although my walls are yellow. Um, but teach people how to um, do better audio and better video on their videos. Um, peanut butter. Create a blog around peanut butter. Different peanut butter recipes, um, brands, do uh, reviews, uh, all kinds of what's the best uh, peanut butter candy, things like that out there. How about stickers? Teach people how to design creative stickers. Um, you create your own stickers and sell them. Uh, make funny sayings, silly characters, build your own brand. Stickers are still pretty big. People love to put them all over the place on their cars and stuff. Um, speaking of cars, how about hot rods? Start a uh, podcast or blog about hot rods. Um, guys that build custom rods. You can um, show locations. You can show um, before and after. You can interview people. You can uh, talk about different techniques of creating hot rods. Radio stations. There's a lot of radio stations out there. Uh, some of them are not getting heard as much as they used to, but uh, help people find where the uh, coolest terrestrial radio stations are, but also talk about independent online radio stations. There are tons of those that people don't know about, and some of, them, uh, some of those might be really unique, so do um, online radio station reviews. Likeability. TP teach people how to be more likable, especially with their coworkers and their family. There's a lot of different techniques to make you more likable uh, with the people around you. Coaching. Uh, you're going to like this one, especially you young people. Uh, teach adults, coach adults on how to play video games. Uh, you know, video games have become really big. There's a lot of competitions. There's a lot of online stuff with video games. So teach your parents, teach the adults how to start their own Twitch accounts or how to get the most out of Twitch, how to watch Twitch. Why should they watch Twitch um, channels and accounts? Um, drag them into the future screaming and uh, crying. 
How about Bigfoot? Everybody knows Bigfoot is real. Start your own blog on why you think Bigfoot is real or why you think he's not real. And uh, interview experts, interview people that have written books, interview people that say they have seen Bigfoot or interview people that have gone on week-long um, searches and have not found Bigfoot. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff you can talk about Bigfoot, and I guarantee you there's a lot of people willing to listen. Uh, bracelets. Create custom bracelets. I've got a bracelet on right now um, that's got some beads on it, but uh, you know, there's all kinds of ways of making different bracelets. Uh, make them. Uh, create a story around them and then sell them online in your store. But uh, the more unique, the more believable, the more cool, the more um, life-sustaining your story is, the more you can sell bracelets. How about city government? A lot of people are bored with city government, but we all need to know what's going on in our cities. So go to your uh, local meetings, and then when you come back, write um, kind of creative, more uh, fun stories, but boil down what they talked about into uh, just the details. Uh, run for office and maybe document or journal what uh, you're doing as a city council member. Uh, how about sleeping? I see a lot of people posting on social media that they uh, wake up in the middle of the night or they cannot go to sleep. Teach them techniques on getting to sleep faster, how to stay asleep once they are asleep, and how to sleep longer in the morning. I also tell the benefits of uh, getting the right amount of sleep. How about China? A lot of stuff uh, being talked about China right now. Uh, figure out how to follow blogs and the news stories going on in China. And actually follow Chinese bloggers and uh, relay that information to Americans. I think a lot of people would be interested in what's going on behind the scenes of China. The, the, the thing is, it's kind of like almost like North Korea sometimes where a lot of information doesn't get out. But there are ways of finding information that is coming out of China. Um, keep people updated on the latest developments. Uh, kind of along those lines, military. Um, connect with military families and talk about military life and the lifestyle of living on base and moving from city to city. Highlight the advantages of being in the military. So that's always something. Uh, number 70, presidents. If you like to talk about history, um, you know, dig up information on the president, some uh, unknown facts, unique um, situations that presidents have found themselves in. Uh, discover unknown tidbits. How about fish? Uh, not the kind that you eat, but the kind that you raise at your house. Teach people how to uh, benefit from having fish as pets. Teach them the different uh, species and how to keep them alive, How to uh, which species to put in with uh, different ones, how to clean the fish tank, what supplies to buy, things like that. Space. I love space. I love stargazing. Tell people when the latest uh, comets are coming, asteroids, uh, meteors, full moons, rocket launches, uh, anything that you can see in space. Teach them how, where to go, how to get out outside of city limits and that city light and be able to see just shooting stars. But uh, there's all kinds of techniques on using cameras and zoom lenses to, uh, you know, see really cool things with your camera. How about top 10 lists? Build a weekly top 10 list. Share those with your followers or your audience. And those are really fun. Um, if you can come up with some really creative top 10 lists, have uh, your audience send in their own ideas. Uh, the sun and the moon. People have a lot of trouble taking pictures of the sun and the moon. They are amateur photographers. Teach them tips on how to take better sunrise, sunset um, photographs, and also how to take pictures of full moons. I know that's really hard, especially with uh, cell phones, but uh, teach them techniques. Share with everybody the latest videos and the latest photographs of uh, sunrises and moons. Um, I'm a tea drinker. I do not drink coffee, never have, and I do not drink pop anymore. It's been maybe 30 years since I've drank pop. So my drink of choice is tea. Be a tea expert. Teach people the different varieties of tea, the benefits of drinking it, how to brew it, uh, review different brands, things like that. Uh, reunions, I you know, I think I found one that I repeated. So we've already talked about reunions. I'm going to have to replace that one on the blog. 
Um, number 77, gifts. Write articles and give people ideas on what gifts to give. I know um, that every time Mother's Day comes around, what do you buy for your wife for Mother's Day? Uh, be a blogger or a podcaster that gives different gift ideas. You can uh, create affiliate links to those gift ideas and make a lot of money when people click on them. Um, suggest things for guys to give their um, wives and moms so uh, you can uh, huge huge industry around gifts how about love letters again this is kind of like the vintage photos um, contact people and have them send in old love letters that they found in their garages or attics and you can read those on air and try to give the story behind those um, you know show pictures of the people that maybe wrote the love letters um, that's a that could be a really cool deal there a podcast with uh, you know the stories behind love letters every week coffee uh, I just mentioned tea I am not a coffee drinker but um, help people find the best places to um, sell their coffee merchandise or where to find curf coffee merchandise everything from beans and mugs to t-shirts and brewers um, how about just the color green find people that love the color green start a blog about everything that is green uh, the most popular things that are green linked to green furniture bikes food clothes gadgets and more you get the point there uh, basically you pick your own favorite color and start a uh, and I've seen these I've seen people that have blogs and everything on the blog is one certain color hemp um, instead of uh, doing a marijuana podcast or blog do a hemp hemp is uh, can be used a whole lot of different ways and uh, that industry could take off one of these days so um, sell hemp products um, teach people how to grow hemp and do videos on the benefits of hemp. How about eagles? A lot of people like to eagle watch. There's a lot of different eagle watching opportunities around the country. Um, tell people where those are, how to sign up for those, how to take pic uh, better pictures of eagles, how to use binoculars, um, different things about eagle nesting. Uh, stuff like that. How about tailgating? Teach people how to create the best tailgate um, before a college game or a football game. Give cooking tips, things like that. Bartering. Teach people how to barter and uh, set up your own bartering website where people can post their stuff and barter with people um, for other things. Coats. Um, get people to send in old coats. Everybody, I guarantee you, everybody I know has about three or four extra coats that they haven't worn in a long time. Um, you can have them send those into uh, thrift stores or donate them, but or you can have them send them to you. Create a uh, big collection of coats and then you customize them and resell them. It's kind of a coat flipping deal, um, but post those on a blog and add bling to them, and then you guys can sell those. How about the Beatles? Become um, an online expert in the Beatles. Talk about the history, little known facts, dig up stories of each song, try to do interviews. Song lyrics. A lot of people are interested in song lyrics and do a uh, podcast about song lyrics, misheard song lyrics, the meaning behind song lyrics, things like that. Number 88 um, to go with that is rap. Start a rap podcast. Talk about uh, rap artists, the lifestyle of being a rapper, the fashions, interview people. Potato chips. If you like potato chips, talk about the best potato chips in the world, the top brands, different varieties, um, how to create um, or grow your own potatoes and then cook your own potato, make your own potato chips. Surfing. Uh, build a community around the surfing lifestyle. Tell people where the best places are to surf, the best clothes, the best surfboards, things like that. Um, one of my favorite things in the world is pedal cars. Uh, start a uh, blog about uh, or a video channel about pedal cars. Show people antique pedal cars that you found. Uh, go on the hunt. Do a document. Document yourself looking for um, hard to find pedal cars. Uh, take a pedal car from being really in bad shape and renovating that or um you know remodeling I, what's i don't can't think of the word um, but turning it from a total rust bucket to something really fancy that's been repainted um, document that from start to finish uh, talk about the different models the hardest to find models of pedal cars architecture you can discuss all the different types of architecture show examples interview architects um, 
weeds and lawn. Lots of people uh, want to take care of their lawn. They just don't know how. You could do a podcast on when is the right time to weed and seed. What what are the best brands to use? You can do reviews, uh, different techniques to water your lawn, um, when and when not to water your lawn. Uh, all kinds of stuff you can talk about uh, weed and weed and lawns. Collections. Uh, start a uh, podcast about what different things that people collect and have those people on your show talking about their collections. Uh, show those collections on the blog, show pictures, lots of videos, things like that. Um, technology. Everybody um, wants to know the latest gadgets and the latest technologies help older folks out with what's going on in the technology market. Create how-to videos on how to uh, deal with technology. One of those technologies is voice. Numbers 97. Start a podcast on voice. How to um, talk to activated um, devices like your Alexa devices. I've got um, two of them over here on my desk. I've got one named Echo and one named Alexa. And uh, teach people all the fun things that you can do, um, things that you can ask them, the information you get from them. And then um, teach people how to create their own skills, which are things on those. Uh, crime. Crime is probably num the number one podcast genre that's listened to. Find uh, a different angle that hasn't been done before or um, you know, give your own take on murders or find unknown cases and uh, start your own crime podcast. So that is huge. Uh, country music. Start a blog on country music. Be the go-to place for the latest country music news, the latest song releases, interview artists, and uh, just give your own take. And number 100, I getting through this uh, in less than an hour, um, you know, just inspired. Start a blog or podcast or video channel on inspiring people. Share with your audience quotes, stories, songs, movies, photos, and other things that inspire them. Uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to inspire you into starting your own business. You know, what I've discovered um, with these first three episodes is uh, my eyes seem a little, I don't know, I, I I guess uh, for some reason when I'm watching these back on video, I seem like I'm, you know, about to fall asleep or listening to them. I'm not as excited or hyper as I usually am on doing other things. And so just to let you guys know that due to this coronavirus thing and throwing this podcast and video together is I'm doing these uh, like right now it is 1225 in the evening. Well, actually in the morning. And so um, the reason I'm doing these really late at night is because um, everybody's home. My kids are home. They're, they don't go to school. They don't go to dance. They don't go anywhere because they're kind of trapped at home. My wife is home, um, you know, throughout the day. People are coming in my office. I'm getting phone calls. Uh, so, so rather than being down at my podcasting studio, I'm doing these at home. And really the only time I feel like I can actually do 45 minutes to an hour of a podcast without getting interrupted, um, is doing them late at night. So eventually I will start doing these once everything goes back to normal. The kids uh, are off to school and doing their daily things. My wife is, um, at her office. I will be able to do these in the afternoon. The light will be different. These will be a lot brighter and my eyes will be really wide open and I'll be a little more energetic. So I apologize if these seem a little lackadaisical or look you're looking at and you're like, dude, man, that dude can't keep his eyes open. Um, uh, I think it's because it's so late at night and uh, that's why. But anyway, I will work on that and I will start recording these um, you know, at different times of the day. So anyway, um, takeaways from this is get started now, today, tomorrow. Don't wait. Uh, build a website for whatever you're going to do. Stay consistent, be patient, and never quit. You guys, you got to stick with this. The only way to make money is to stick with this. I know, like I said, a lot of you are unemployed. I'm going to try to teach you how to blog, podcast, um, create a video channel, uh, create a side gig, a side business. Um, it could be a uh, creating a product or a service. It doesn't have to be something online. It could be something, you know, some actual product. But anyway, we'll go through those. Um, trying to think of, uh, I've got my, like I, I've told you before, I've got my daughters creating their own business since they are not in school. I don't want them to uh, just do nothing. So um, I'm requiring them to start their own business. They have named the business Lucky Two Company. It's going to be lucky. If you go to Lucky twoco.com. That's where their website's going to be. We've reserved the domain name. I've set up the 
WordPress blog. We don't have the theme. We've actually picked out the theme. I don't have it on there yet. They've, uh, um, one of my daughters created some ideas for the logo. So I helped them do the logo. She found the fonts. They voted. We kind of talked about which font to use. So we've got the font for the logo. Um, I've got them working on what colors the logos and the colors we're going to use on the website. Again, they have picked out the theme. It's a theme that um, deals with fashion and we can uh, put the woo commerce um, plug in on there and they're going to be able to sell their own items from the website and so um, you know kind of following along them that's maybe what you guys ought to be doing so again they came up with the idea they're going to sell fashions um, you know jewelry maybe decor things like that they're going to become affiliate for like champion they're going to sell champion gear on there which really when you click on the champion gear they're going to get you know money through the affiliate sales but anyway so they've had to come up with the idea they've had to come up with the name they've had to come up with the logo They've had to come up with the uh, WordPress theme that they're going to use, and now they're going to. They've got to come up with colors. They've got to decide how to do the photography for their uh, merchandise that they're going to sell. Um, I think, yeah, well, I think I've had one of them go out and reserve all of the social media. So they've got Lucky Two Co for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, you know, most of the main ones, and so we'll start um, having them. Um, do that. I also had them, uh, they're working on an About Us page and the story behind why they are doing what they're doing, which is basically because dad said they had to. And so I want them to create a really um, interesting about us page talking about them because I want to possibly to have different bloggers or podcasts to hear about their story and interview them. And I've told them that, you know, you got to have a hook and or a catch on your story of, of why you're doing what you're doing. And that can help get you on a really big show. Uh, could get you on the Ellen show maybe sometime. And, uh, so anyway, if there's anybody out there that is looking for an interesting story, I've got two high school girls, again, that are starting their own business because they're not in school and uh, they don't have that much um, going on with the online um, learning. And so they've got a lot of time on their hands. And so anyway, they are starting their own business. We'll, we'll see where that goes. I'll um, continue to tell you the progress on that. I've got some other things going. I'm going to, you know, part of this whole uh, That Buzz Guy um, podcast is going to be the journal of what I've got going on. I'm staying really busy with my Enid Buzz business, I'm trying to come up with uh, different um podcast episodes for you guys to teach you guys how to make money so uh, i'm staying really busy and uh, editing some of this video and stuff but anyway i'm going to get out of here i'm going to keep this under an hour this week you guys have a great um, week weekend um, stay safe wash your hands don't touch your face um, sounds like um, we're going to start getting out of this um, in phases we want everybody to get back to work but i know with uh 22 million people out of work. Not everybody's going back to work. I hate to say that, but uh, a lot of you um, are not going to be finding your jobs um, when you when the, we come out of this. So, um, but a lot of you may not want to go back to your old jobs. That's why I want you guys to have the freedom to work for yourself, to stay home, to uh, have the freedom to work the hours that you want, the days that you want, to be able to take off and go to um, you know your kids' uh, recital or um, school program if you want to. So anyway get out of here. Everybody have a great day and I will talk to you soon.